Today, we explore a mystery so amazing that if you never heard of it, you will be shocked. In New Jersey there is a town called the Pine Barrens, and in this vast expanse of pine trees notorious for its supernatural energy, lies the story of a creature so scary that it is really the stuff of nightmares. The area received a lot of European settlers in the early 17th century, and they brought with them some extraordinarily rich lore and mythology. The area was only good for timber and iron, but this attracted the homesteaders who were eventually referred to as miners. About 100 years passed and this is where we meet this elusive cryptid. Have you ever heard of Mother Leeds? Mother Leeds, or as it is believed her real name was Deborah Leeds based on historical documents from the year 1736, like a will and a marriage certificate that she was married to a man named Jacob Leeds. She was a descendant of the Pineys and said to have given birth to 12 children. Everything was normal until she became pregnant again. Then in the year 1735, when she was about to give birth to her 13th child, legend has it that on that stormy night time the burden of raising so many children, Mother Leeds cursed her unborn child and claimed it would be the devil. Did she do this because of triskaidekaphobia, a term used to explain the fear of the number 13? This fear has been documented since the time of the Babylonians, with references in all sorts of works from the Bible's Last Supper and Judas Iscariot representing the now unlucky number 13, or in Norse mythology when Loki became the uninvited guest to a god's gathering, thus being the 13th guest, and just like that there are many other concepts of 13 as an unlucky number. The Lord tells that at that moment when the baby was born, it went through a transformation and it changed into a creature with a goat's head, hooves, bat wings and a forked tail. It attacked the people in the house, the midwife and friends gathered at the birth, and escaped through the fireplace and into the barrens. And on that day a legend was born. Many stories have emerged in the many years since this happened, but one thing that has remained constant is that the creature was real, and it would be called the Leeds Devil. On this day and age, we have seen the lore and mythology adapt to such a point where we now know this monster as the Jersey Devil. Some say the father of the baby was the devil, while others just claim it to be a curse. Some even claim that the Jersey Devil was originally Mzing from the Lenape tribes, but there is no evidence to suggest that Mzing ever had wings. It is known that Mzing often would take the form of man and ride on the back of a deer, but upon further investigation we could not find any empirical evidence that the Lenape ever referred to as, as anything but a faceless or masked protector of the forest. There are other researchers that suggest that a politician named Daniel Leeds, who was the rival to Benjamin Franklin and was at that time described as a monster, is the reason for the birth of the myth. The only thing we know for certain is that in the Barrens many witnesses claim to have either seen or been attacked by the Jersey Devil. For many years in newspaper archives dating back to around the year 1740, there have been hundreds of different articles mentioning the Leeds Devil, some are witness accounts, which vary, and many are just articles by the newspapers hyping up the myth and scaring the populace. Regardless of that, there have been numerous sightings, and some have very consistent descriptions of the Devil. It is described as a creature with the face of a goat, hooves, tail and wings, others claim it to be a horse or even a deer. It is an abomination and thus associated with the devil. Then somewhere around the year 1840 some cattle were found mutilated, and the panic-induced town was quick to blame it on the Jersey Devil. There are many theories as to who or what the Jersey Devil might be, and their contrasts can be alarming. For example, while some have accepted Leeds as a point of origin, Skeptics like bird experts say that it is merely a case of mistaken identity, with an unknown creature like an owl, or a sandhill crane. We investigated the sandhill cranes or Antigone canadensis and found their migration patterns to be consistent with the sightings. The cranes fly all over North America in their migration efforts and the dates of the devil's sightings in the local archives is consistent with this theory. Also, some people reported a strange screeching sound coming from the Jersey Devil, and we found some eerie calls that sandhill cranes make like this one. someone might fear the worse and mistake the bird for a goat face, hooved, batwing creature, with a forked tail. Right? Especially if they are already expecting to find such a creature, it could fall into confirmation bias. On the other hand, psychologists believe it to be a case of mass hysteria or panic. This added with the remoteness and isolation of the pine barrens could be a recipe for a close encounter of any kind. This theory becomes quite plausible, when we see that in the year 1909, there was a barrage of sightings of the Leeds Devil, in many states of the region all the way from New Jersey to Maryland, people reported seeing the creature, and newspapers were abuzz with excitement. These two sets of skeptics together make quite a compelling argument against the case for there being a Jersey Devil. Cryptozoologists however stand firm in their theories that the Jersey Devil is real, even though the lack of evidence is overwhelming, they insist this to be a fact. 
but such is the devotion and commitment needed to investigate such creatures. The easiest answer in my opinion would be that if there is such a creature out there, then it is okay to search for it, it is for everyone to have their own ideals, and stand by them. To have discussions about subjects, however fringe, is where we start being able to separate facts from fiction. I will not sit here and say this is just a myth, we are not ready, nor have we investigated enough, like going to Pine Barrens. But it would make sense to me that a sandhill crane or an owl could be the culprit. We searched for other cryptids that could be responsible, but we couldn't find any we thought would fit the profile, and we investigated many creatures, from chupacabra, wendigo, to dragons and even snallygaster, but not all points matched, so we had to dismiss them. To this day, nobody has ever been killed by the Jersey Devil, and its lore and existence has been woven into the fabric of America. It will continue to fascinate us for many years to come. And we at the Cryptic Conclave will not stop investigating until we have found the truth. What do you think? Is it fact? Or is it fiction? Tell us in the comments section what you think. Be on the lookout for next week's Saturday video which will be an exciting one about the influences of the yokai in local culture. As always thanks for watching the Cryptic Conclave, and please consider liking and subscribing for more content.